We stuck rigidly to this narrow strip of safe ground. To the left and right, it's littered with mines. Vadim wanted to show us where he was hit, driving his truck on this road last month. This is what's left after two mines exploded underneath him. Without his truck, he can't work, but it served as a warning to civilians who are too scared to come here now. Я открывать кабину, вона не відкривається, заклинула. Другий раз це вже друга, як зорвалася, мене лобове стекло вилетіло і мене викинуло наперед. This area near Makariv, west of Kyiv, is the picture across swathes of Ukraine. Fields that should be planted with wheat are covered in munitions and mines. Landmine charity The Halo Trust has told Sky News Ukraine is now the most lethal environment anywhere in the world for civilians. Their deminers from the Donbass region on the front line are now clearing areas around the capital. It's painstaking work, picking through the grass for tripwires, mines and artillery. A large number of Russian shells don't detonate and get buried in the ground. I don't see so it was locals that reported uh, in April Russian vehicles were positioned here and Russian troops positioned over there. The threats left behind in the ground here now pose huge danger to civilians living just 100 metres away, many still haunted from the arrival of Russian troops in March. The family were given an hour to leave before Russian soldiers took over their house. Я скинула вагу десь 5 6 кг. Не могла нормально спати, не не могла нормально спілкуватися, просто не хотіла ні з ким спілкуватися, тому що це дуже важко. Ну, стрес. Each time a mine is cleared, their house shakes. People's trauma here now compounded by the regular sound of controlled explosions nearby. So the area of this field is 190,000 square metres, and each team on average can clear 120 square metres a day. So if we do the maths, it would take the two teams they have currently working on this field two years just to clear this area alone. And this is one of so many in Ukraine that's contaminated with mines. These threats are stopping Ukrainians returning to the daily lives they had before this war, and clearing them could take decades. Sally Lockwood, Sky News, near Makariv.